What's coming on, guys? Still coming back again. Hope you're fantastic today. And before we start today's FNAF movie news video, have you purchased your FNAF movie tickets yet? You have. Well, that's good, isn't it? That's good. The movie is coming out in less than 20 days. Can you believe that the movie we've been waiting for for over eight years is coming out in less than 20 days? Because I can't. We did a big video last week talking about Universal promoting the movie uh, with the amazing facade that they've done in Hollywood, which looks awesome. It would have been cool if it was a restaurant or something that we can go into. But, you know, they can do something like that next year, can't you guys? Universal, yeah. You can. And as expected, we've got some more promotion trailers and stuff. I've got five really cool clips of the animatronics, like a character to highlights of each animatronic, including Mr. Cupcake, which is really cool. And they've done like a blueprint trailer thing. It looks they look awesome. So I wanted to show I wanted to show you guys those. Also, another trailer showing more of William Afton, Matthew Lillard. And people have spotted a very awesome detail uh, that we're theorizing about, whether it's like some scars across his neck. To do with a past spring lock failure, just like the books. So we'll go and look at that and give our own thoughts on that as well. Just some other small exciting things, some merch at Universal Studios, more box office predictions and stuff that we're going to discuss as well. Uh, when the movie comes out as well, we will get to release our vlogs of going to the movie set. You guys will get to see behind the scenes of us interacting with the animatronics and showing you guys around the set and stuff like that. So that's very exciting as well. So look out for that. So yeah, let's go with the first one, guys. Mr. Cupcake. Now, there's a lot of people on Twitter saying, what? I thought Mr. Cupcake's name was always Carl. I was just a fan name uh, for the cupcake that's just gone around for ages. It's never been officially called Carl. Like I said to you guys, though, the reference of Carl is still in the movie. Uh, the dude's face who's getting eaten by Mr. Cupcake is called Carl. So I thought that was a really nice Easter egg. Like, you know, Carl gets killed by Mr. Cupcake. Um, but yeah, this is like the this is like the highlight reel of Mr. Cupcake. They're all very similar. So this is the first one. This is Mr. Cupcake. Round of applause. Here we go. I'm gonna shut up and then we'll and then we'll get we'll analyze it. Have you met Cupcake? Oh, that! Look at that! Look how cool they are! Oh, Chica, there's Carl, and then the death. So yeah. Oh, that's new as well. That's new, right? Okay, so there are some new shots in these two. So yeah, Piper going into the location. These are all the same on each one. What the hell is that? I mean, that's supposed to be like Golden Freddy or something, but it looks like Winnie the Pooh. It's so funny. Have you met Cupcake? Have you met Cupcake? So we get a really cool shot of Cupcake just chilling on their own. Just on uh, a crate or something with rope. Like maybe behind the stage or something. So just chilling. And yeah, his eyes glow up. And he that's so cool. Like he lifts up. That's so cool. And then we get another shot as well of just the office. And that's it. I really love these guys. These look absolutely amazing. So, again, whoever did these, these are so cool. It's like freaking Smash Brothers reveal style or something, or in Fortnite. Different poses of the cupcake, like with his mouth open and everything. Like, a bunch of different poses. So, yeah, this is Carl saying hello to Chica and the cupcake in the kitchen. And then he's dead meat. Literally, he gets attacked by the cupcake and then his face... Gets completely destroyed by Mr. Cupcake. Five notes of Freddy's. Then we get a shot of the Cupcake just chilling in the hallway. But yeah, the, the Cupcake's kind of like a camera or something. Like watching over everything. Like a spy. Which I think is really cool. So I feel like we're going to get some shots of the Cupcake just watching the night guard. Or the, uh, the thieves who go into the location. Okay, because we've just done Mr. Cupcake, let's do Chica. So like I said, all of these are very similar. The shot of the location, zoom in on the sign. Piper going into the location, then Mike. It's always the same. And then it's Vanessa saying, have you met Chica? Have you met Foxy? Have you met Chica? So here's Chica now, guys. I'm going to shut up now and just watch it, see if there's any new shots. Yeah. Camera. Oh, look at that. I love them. I think they're so cool. That's new. That's new. 
Oh! Oh! Oh, guys, that was Hank! The Chica Wink! The Chica Wink! So a lot of people talking about this. So Chica's winking. Uh, it definitely looks like Chica's winking at Abby here. Because the animatronics are being friendly with Abby. We we theorized about the animatronics just being friends with Abby. So yeah, the most important shot here, guys. Get some really nice shots of Chica. Bonnie and Chica. Now, I've realized as well. I don't know if I mentioned this in the... I can't remember, guys. We've watched so many. Uh, if I mentioned this in the trailer or one of them. The cupcake's missing from Chica's play. Um, so the cupcakes might be doing his own thing right now. This is another great... I don't even really need to say anything. Like, look at the different poses of Chica. Like a blueprint. These are all in Swedish, apparently. Or, or, so I don't really know what this is saying. I see Mr. Cupcake, so... I don't know what these translate to, unfortunately. Uh, but I really do like these highlights. This is the, my favourite things in all of the trailers, just this part. And look great. Now, this is a new shot, guys. I've not seen this before. This is Chica in the kitchen again with the glowing eyes. But she turns towards Hank. Hank looks like he's looking inside of the kitchen. You can see out here behind him is the entrance where Abby came through. So it looks like he's actually outside of the kitchen where you order the pizza and he's looking through the window or looking through a gated window or something. So he's looking in the kitchen and he sees Chica and Chica does a really creepy, evil smile towards Hank. And then he must run off and then get killed by Bonnie. Like, hides in the claws, it gets killed by Bonnie. Or something. And then we get the classic Chica wink, which looks awesome. Moving on to Bonnie. I'm not going to say anything. Play him again. Ooh, okay. Oh, look at that. That's so good, man. Come on, he's still... Oh, okay. So we get a longer... Oh, that's new as well. Guys, that's new as well. We get another shot as well of his... I love that as well. Of his guitar blowing up. We do see that in a trailer of his guitar, like, malfunctioning, exploding. So we've seen that before. Got a close shot of him. What's that? Pause on what looks like a parts and service room or something. I think this is where Freddy was, right? It does look like a parts and service room. There's wires and everything and endo heads and stuff. So, yeah, it looks like parts and service to me. And this hallway looks similar where the cupcake was. So, here we get the amazing blueprint thing. I don't know what you'd call this. I'm just saying blueprints. I know they're not blueprints, but that's what I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, so Hank's in here. You can't see what he's doing. Come on, he's... Yeah, I don't think the light's working. And then, wow, what a shot that is of Bonnie right behind him with the glowing <laughs> eyes. Looks great. And then he's dead. Rip Hank. Yeah, we just get a longer version of that. Then we get a really, really cool, creepy shot of Bonnie. That's a great shot. I really, really like that. That's probably my favorite shot of Bonnie so far. Okay, guys, Freddy is next. Let's go. Have you met Freddy? Freddy? Seen that shot? Hey, look at that. Amazing. Ooh. Bit of a longer shot of Max's death. And Freddy performing on stage. I love these. Absolutely love them. So, yeah, this looks like it's a part and service room, guys. Where I said earlier with Freddy. Definitely. Um, so, Max goes in there. We get a longer shot of Max. And a slow zoom in of Freddy's mouth. And the endo jaw and stuff. And then she stares. She must hear like a laugh or something in the mouth. And then she gets pulled in. Which is really, really cool. And then we get the shot of them performing. We've seen a shot like this before. Looking awesome. Okay, guys. This is the last one. This is Foxy. Have you met Foxy? Have you met Foxy? Oh, that was... Hey! That was great. Oh, we haven't seen these. Oh. Oh, my God. We heard the jump scare noise. We heard the freaking FNAF 1 classic jump scare. And there's Foxy performing at the end on the Pirate's Cove stage. Um, wow. So, yeah, we get a shot of one of the new thieves that we haven't seen much of yet. And Foxy walking around the pizzeria. Ooh. 
This is probably when uh, Fox is chasing Abby, uh, when Abby's hiding behind the arcade cabinet, or when uh, what looks like he's going to be chasing one of the thieves, which makes sense to me. I love this shot of Foxy here. Foxy coming out of Pirate's Cove, and his hook comes out. That's amazing. Oh, we get the hallway. That's cool. Yeah, this is down another hallway. This is the hallway Foxy runs down from, right? I think when Mike's at that door screaming, I think that's Spring Bonnie, William Afton. I think this dude get killed. I think this dude's gonna get killed by Foxy. Um, but we'll see. A bunch of quarters on the floor as well. And I think from a previous trailer, we saw this guy who's getting is at the door trying to get out steal a bunch of quarters from the quarter machine. I, I swear I remember seeing that. So yeah, I do feel like Foxy hey! is killing this guy. It's the same door where Mike was. Uh, screaming at, I'm pretty sure, the exit door. Hey! So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, we got the Employee of the Month board as well. There. I think that's Baz, DJ, John Wolf, Raz. I'm there just about. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, look at that jump scare as well of Foxy. Looks amazing. It looks so good. Looks amazing. Okay, guys, this is the extra trailer with William Afton with the detail on his neck. So we'll watch it. It's only 15 seconds, but we get a, a bit of extra footage with Matthew Lillard as William Afton, so. I have a security gig. This place has been shut down for years. Hello? Hey. Do you want the job or not? That part, guys. That part. That looks so good. Looks so good. I remember walking up those steps and going on stage and saying hello to these guys. Um, great shot of the pizzeria stage. Here's Fox at the arcade cabinet again. Oh. Spring Bonnie shot we've seen. But it's this shot. So this is a new shot that we haven't seen yet of Matthew Lillard, William Afton saying, do you want the job or not? A lot of people have mentioned that Matthew Lillard has got what looks like scars around his neck. Shout out to Lara, um, who uh, who I saw this tweet with. Um, they did a look up, look, they can see there's some lines on Matthew Lillard's neck. And Thomas said in real life, uh, Matthew Lillard doesn't have those scars. I mean, they look like scars to me. I was gonna say it might be like his shirt pulling up his neck. So they might look like wrinkles or something. But you guys can have your own opinion. But basically, this is how it was in the book. Because William Afton's been using the spring locks for such a long time in the past. He's had accidents in them. And he's had scars and cuts and stuff from what's happened. People are theorizing that's a small detail that the movie did uh, to show William Afton's scars. And you never know. We might see him actually like this uh, at some point in the movie. Apparently, a makeup artist has said, prosthetic anywhere. It's a Bondo transfer scar. I have made for many shows and movies. A makeup artist, it's not 100% confirmed, has said it looks very similar to, it looks very similar to a, a fake scar that the movie has done. This is from the trailer, guys. I'm looking at it right now. The shirt collar is pushing up against his neck a little bit. It could be a ring, it could be some wrinkles. It doesn't look like it to me. It does look like, it does look like some scars to me. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. Here's a released shot of the movie as well, of Mike and Abby with the animatronics. And you can actually see Foxy is there behind the scenes, just chilling. So yeah, at this present time, guys, the animatronics are friendly with Mike and Abby at this moment by the looks of things. They don't look aggressive. So something later on in the film ticks them off, annoys them. Maybe the animatronics never attack Mike. I don't know. Maybe it's just William Afton who does. I don't know. But I feel like they attack the thieves because they ransack the place and start smashing things up and stealing things. So that's why I feel like the animatronics attack them at that point because, you know, they're destroying the place. How big is Freddy here, man? He, he is freaking huge. He looks so ginormous. He looks powerful, doesn't he? Freddy looks so powerful in that. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens, like why the animatronics turn aggressive. Johnny Blocks made a tweet a couple of days ago uh, saying Blumhouse's upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's movie is projected to gross $12 million from Thursday night previews. This would be the second highest grossing preview for a horror film, only behind 
2017's It, which was 13.5 million. Five Nights at Freddy's is projected to be the second highest ever grossing preview for a horror film. Ever. Ever. How insane is that? It's crazy to think the FNAF movie could be the second highest grossing preview for a horror film ever. Ever. FNAF fans, I really do think we can beat it if we really put our minds to it. So if you guys want to see the FNAF movie, be the best ever highest grossing preview for a horror film ever, go and watch it for previews. Please, please, please. If your cinemas are doing uh, a day early previews and stuff like the midnight thing, I don't know, book it. Go and have the time of your life, you know. We are only going to experience this moment once in, in FNAF ever. The second movie and third movie, yes, if that happens, you know, that's still really cool. And obviously we'll still support those and hopefully they're really successful. In the lifetime of FNAF, this is the first time ever you guys are going to have an opportunity ever to watch the first ever FNAF movie in the forever. This is literally the first FNAF movie ever in existence. And we've only got one opportunity to do that and support it. So if you guys haven't already, please book your tickets for the movie. Go and watch it at a cinema if you can. If you can't and you just want to watch it on Peacock or something, feel free to do that. No judgment at all. But if you have the opportunity to go and watch this movie at the cinemas and experience this movie at the cinemas, please go and watch it because it's a million times better than just watching it in your living room on the TV, in my opinion. If you have the opportunity to anyway, Go and do it. Please go and do it. it this is only going to happen once in our lifetime, guys, watching the, the FNAF movie. We've waited eight years for it. This is it. Less than 20 days time. Go and book your tickets if you can. And finally, Johnny Blocks has tweeted some uh, movie merch that's coming out at the Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. Uh, we got some lovely badges, pin badges, and we've got a lovely T-shirt as well. So we've got the official... Um, We've got the official logo that's on the location. And it's white and red, like you're working there, you know. It's not a it's not a lot, but I expected that anyway. I feel like they did this very last minute because, like I said in my last video, I don't think Universal was prepared for the amount of hype this movie was gonna get. Um I think we're gonna see a lot more next year uh, at Universal Studio. I really guys, I really do think, and I know I keep saying it, I really do think I'm 95% confident that we're gonna see a FNAF attraction at Universal Horror Nights Studios next year. I really do, or the year after, especially if the next movie's coming out next year or the next year after, um, around ha around Halloween again. It's the perfect time to promote the movie as well. They really should have done it this year, actually, and I, I am disappointed that they didn't do it, but I do get it, I get it at the same, I guess I get it at the same time, but now would have been the best moment to make a FNAF scare maze at Universal. The promotion, would be absolutely insane. Millions of people go to Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios in America every single year. It would have just been a perfect opportunity to promote the movie. People would have got to experience the scare maze with the animatronics and stuff. So really, Universal, anybody working at Universal, please do something like that next year. You are missing a huge opportunity, please. Please try and do it next year, I am begging you. There's no reasoning why you shouldn't do it like it's just the perfect opportunity so please do it next year you have got so much potential you really do so yeah that's that's it for today's video guys i've rambled on a lot again i know but i am so excited for the fnaf movie i like just sharing my own thoughts and get getting you guys excited for it so yeah book your tickets anywhere around the world go and book your tickets support the movie if you want to see if you want to see the fnaf movie successful on opening night Go and watch it. Please go and watch it. Make Universal Studios see that the FNAF movie, the FNAF franchise is worth their money to make things for the FNAF movie. A bigger budget for the second movie is a possibility. If the first movie does great, Universal are going to give Blumhouse and Scott more money to invest in the next movie to make bigger and better things. That's what happens if it's a success, okay? I forgot to mention as well, I mentioned it last video, I keep forgetting. They did add the animatronic models at Universal Horror Nights uh, in LA. Um, it is a little thing, but you know, you, you guys, we all know that they can do a lot more than that. So 
I'm really looking forward to next year uh, for, the, for the movie and Universal. I, I feel like big things are coming, especially if the movie is a success, which the box office predictions and uh, being the second, possibly the second biggest, highest grossing preview night for the movie. That's a success. It really is. And remember, with all this money, remember that Peacock had a deal. Uh, Peacock had a deal with Universal and Blumhouse in the first place. We don't even know how much money they gave them to, to have this on Peacock. And I'm guessing it's a lot. I'm guessing it probably funded the freaking movie or half of it at least. So it's a, it's a success no matter what happens. I, I don't feel like it's going to flop. I feel like this is, I feel like this is going to be a success for Universal and Blumhouse no matter what happens now. Um, so it's really exciting. So yeah, please book your tickets, guys. Get those orders in. Go and support the movie. Go and have an amazing time. I probably will make another video. There'll probably be some more uh, trailers and stuff and previews and pictures. And we'll have to wait and see. There'll probably be another video. If not, I'll be doing a review on the movie. I'll be doing a spoiler-free review, uh, review on the movie and also the vlog of going to the set and stuff. So, yeah, a lot of exciting things, okay? And I'll probably do, like, theories and what the ending meant, uh, whatever happens, and uh, hidden things that you missed in the movie. Really exciting things. So, yeah. Take care. Lots of love. Thanks for watching. I'll shut up now, and I'll see you all next time.